Good morning, beautiful people. We are currently posted up in a sweet little camp area in Venice. We're at the last, um, because we're at the last loading, loading. We're at the last leg of hanging out with our precious friends that we met up with. So we don't have a ton of footage of Venice because again, we just wanted to spend some time with our friends, be in the moment. But what we can do for you is give you a little 30 second montage. So let's go. So we're gonna be shooting out of Venice today. We got some friends with us. You may remember these guys. Let me, I'm gonna zoom right in on you. Who is it? Who could it be? <laughs> Mr. Jacob. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna be dropping them off. We're gonna be dropping them off in Munich, which is about five and a half hours from here. And then we're gonna go be meeting up with one of my long, long friends back from when I was. I met him, I think, when I was eight years old, back in elementary school. He now lives in Heidenheim, Germany. But while we do all this, we're gonna be laying down some knowledge. We're gonna share with you guys all the stuff that we've learned about the biggest differences between van life in Europe and the United States. So, we gotta get out of this campsite right now. So, let's go. So the first difference is the cars in Europe are so much smaller, as you can see from our two friends. Squeeze, squeeze into the back seat behind us. And this is actually a huge car for Europe. This is much bigger than all the other cars. Like smart cars, in the United States you think of a smart car as like the stupidest thing because there's no practical use because it's all highway driving. But here, they make so much more sense. So difference number one, cars, tiny. So numero two difference is gas. So gas here is much, much more expensive. Five dollars a gallon. Five dollars a gallon. But it is much more efficient. So with the vehicle that we're driving in, it's diesel. So first of all, that makes it a lot more efficient. The cars that are made are made with more intention to be more fuel efficient. Right. Like the car's a lot smaller. Totally, totally. And smaller engines. Exactly. And this brings us to number three. There are so many rotaries. So many rotaries. And when you're not that good at driving a manual. But if you think about it, I feel like it's a much more efficient way of traveling because you you never have to wait at a stoplight. Things are always moving. Just hop in the rotary, go around in a circle, and then you're out. Sometimes it can be a little stressful, but once you get it figured out, I think rotaries are the way. And number four is rest stops have showers. In the United States, rest stops never have showers for free. The ones that we found, you have to pay like $10. But here, go to a gas station and get yourself a toasty warm shower. So difference number five is at one point you'll be in Italy and then right over Right across there is Austria. It's pretty cra crazy how quickly uh, the culture changes. And not even just the culture, but like the nature as well is so much different. Um, holy crap, look at that castle. Wow, are you serious? Castle on a hill. This is Austria. How much do you think? Right down the 5790? Oh no, guys. That's it. Come on. 2610. So, point number six. Point number six. Thank you. Thank you. The, the tolls in. The tolls in Europe are so much more money. That one was $26. We'll probably get another one along the way. But they get you. And I would say they're probably, I don't know, 
five times the price of the tolls in the United States. Difference number seven is you never get to see views like this in America. Yeah, like, what's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, dude. Like, Good to see you. Hey, man. What's going on? How are you, man? Dude, I'm so smelly. Hey. Hi. Hi. So nice to see you. How are you, guys? Good. How are you? So number seven? Yeah. Eight? Nine? Eight. Eight. Seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine? Seven, eight, nine. One of those. So number eight is when you're in Europe, for most people, you're not going to have any service, which means you're not going to have any GPS. So you have a few different options. You can either get go old fashioned and get a map, or you can get service on your phone, or you can get a mobile hotspot like we did. This is a hotspot called Skyrim, and it works pretty well. We are actually gonna do a full comprehensive review on this thing. We've been using it all across Europe, and it works in over 100 countries. So you can use this thing everywhere. It's so worked pretty well for us, not perfect, but we'll explain more in a later video. grocery shopping. Very different. But it's kind of fun because you have to try to figure out what the heck you're buying. What does that say? Let's hear you pronounce it. It'll be true. Chocolade. Right, Chocolade. Let's hear how you do it. It'll be true. Chocolade. Oh, oh close. <laughs> so we've probably, we've been in what? Five, six different countries? In different languages. A lot of languages. A lot of different languages. So it's been very interesting going grocery shopping in Europe. So the last but not least difference between van life in America and van life in Europe is camping. So camping has been one, ooh, there's two. Last and then another last. Camping. You're gonna put this now? Yep. You're changing the whole plan. No, 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 no. We can't put this plan do, like a week ago. I'm gonna do doubles. You're changing it all now? Doubles right now. So camping <laughs> and finding water. So camping has been a little bit diff more difficult in uh, Europe only because it's not very easy first of all to read the signs so you don't know if you can camp on a residential street um, also they're a lot more strict so there's no such thing as camping in Walmarts here aka oh, there's no such thing as Walmarts here um, and but there's little towns that you can definitely get away with yeah but you don't really know you don't really know happen. So there's been a, a few times where we've gotten knocks on our doors, which I don't think has ever happened in the bus. Only a, about two times in seven months, eight right. months. And it's been probably like three or four times while being here for the last month. Um, so camping is a little more difficult, but... Uh, we also just don't know. I think if we had more time, yeah, we could figure it out. And because we can't speak the language, then we don't know. Right. But... Right. You sneaking in here? You have oh, something to say? And the water. It's like... Sometimes you just want some fresh, pure water to drink, mm. but over it's a here, chemically. yeah, it's chemically. It's a little more chemically. You get a lot of minerals, and they put a yeah. lot of calcium in it, so a lot of chlorine. Tastes like fluoride. Not my thing. Yeah, it's bad. And Kaylee is like a water connoisseur. That's right. She like sniffs it. Thank you for your input, sir. <laughs> she like sniffs her water. Anyways, water is important. Water should be pure, hundred percent of the time. The camping is just different. Water oh. is a little tricky. Hold on, we're talking about camping or we're talking about water? Well, he just flew in with the water thing. So that is where we're going to end today's episode. But the one thing, the one other thing, is tonight, as you can tell, it's the first night we're going to sleep in a house, sleep in a bed. We're sleeping at Fabio's mom's house. It's the first time in 30-something days. Pretty amped. And the, the the vehicle that we're in is great, but the one thing is I can't stretch out when I sleep. That's really smart. My legs are like bent in. It's made for small Europeans. <laughs> Why did you think Europeans are small? Because everything out here is small. The alleyways are small, the cars are small, the por portions of food is small. Everything's small. I guess you're right. But either way, we can sleep in a bed tonight. We're ants. And we're so excited. So excited. You ready to get the best night of your sleep? I'm ready. Best night of your sleep. The Clearly best... I need some sleep. The best sleep of your life. We're going to sleep. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.